Hi, I'm Ross, and this is a beer. Back to Birch Town from uh, Boxing Rock in, out of Shelburne, Nova Scotia. It looks like an old newspaper, and I think that was the point. It's like an old picture of, uh, of the area. It's a collaboration with a group called Change is Brewing, which is a group in Nova Scotia that are partnering a brewery to, and promoting diversity and inclusion in craft beer, food, and service industry. This specifically relates towards black loyalists. And now's the part where an early middle-aged white guy needs to talk about black loyalists. Let's try not to get political. America became independent, and when that happened, a lot of people moved to more British places in Canada, and one of the closest spots was Nova Scotia. A lot of them were ex-slave, came up north, landed in Shelburne, and they founded not only Shelburne, but they founded Birchtown, which is a place named after one of the guys who actually signed their names into the Book of Negroes, who was a guy whose last name was Birch. This bottle is huge, 650 milliliters. Have a look at that, that's an amber. You can sort of see me through it, but you can, you can definitely see the reddish tinge. This is going to be bitter and I'm going to like that. An old stock ale, amber in color, 6.4%. Modern take on historic style, smooth and drinkable, but has been designed and brewed to improve over time, and the flavors will mellow and round out over the months and years. That is smooth. It's definitely smooth. It's not as bitter as I thought it was going to be. It smells more bitter than it tastes. See that? Now we're talking. Now you can see the amberness of it. I mean, it's okay. And it's it's a 6.4%, so it's a little strong. It, it got me to look up a bunch of stuff about the Black Loyalist. It's trying to be bitter at the back end. At the tail end of this, it is trying to be a bitter, which is interesting because usually you're, you're struggling for the bitter flavor if it's like an ice cold beer, if you store it in the fridge. The bitterness remains. It's, it's just a slightly boring red. You, def you definitely don't get any of the maltiness. There's no malt in that. It tastes like something that will taste better later. High gravity beers, the effect is likely to be perceived as more complexity and a certain drying of the flavor. Wart gravity. This is so sciency, I can't even keep my Scottish accent up. Today's old ales still tend to be strong, hoppy, and malty. Ah, I'm not getting the hoppy, I'm not getting the malty. It's just strong. It's trying so hard to be bitter. It's missing something. It's missing some kind of zing. It, it tastes like a red or an amber or whatever an old stock ale is that just didn't quite get there. Five octopus legs out of eight. It would get a six for the malt and it would get a seventh for the hoppy. I could take some hoppy in this. I could take some flavor. And eight out of eight if, if it worked all together. Boxing Rock back to Birch Town. I just didn't quite do it. Ross and a beer. You get the good stuff tomorrow. It attaches to the banjo. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs>